If I could describe the Beatles in one word, it would be magic. My name is Christine Summer. I'm from Kentucky, and I am a huge Beatles fan and Beatles merch collector. In high school, my friends never listened to the Beatles. They were always listening to whatever was popular at the time. If you've never been to Kentucky, Kentucky is basically country music, fried chicken, and horses. Listening to the Beatles made me feel special. It made me feel like I had insight into this world that no one else knew about. The first Beatles merchandise I ever bought was some Beatles notebooks. I got these to use for school supplies, but after I started listening to the Beatles, I realized I wasn't ever going to write in them. <laughs> I've been hooked since then. I started going to flea markets. I would just see something of the Beatles and I'd be like, that would look really cute in my room. I had pictures of the Beatles covering every inch of the wall. You basically couldn't even see what color the walls were. And then I started getting a little bit of everything. It turned into toys and figures and shirts and then hats and then cups and mugs and snow globes. I also adopted a dog and decided to name him Lennon after John Lennon. I feel like collecting Beatles merch is just another form of being creative. I'm always hunting for Beatles things. My favorite place is Pops Resale in Lexington. It's always exciting finding Beatles stuff when you're not expecting it. I'm pretty sure I could see something from the Beatles a mile away. Just like see four people standing together and be like, yep, that's the Beatles, I want it. <laughs> my boyfriend doesn't always like approve of my collecting. We always said when we moved in together that we weren't gonna have Beatles stuff all throughout the house, that we would try to like maintain everything to one room. Here is my Beatles section in the living room. Here is my other section in the living room. That really hasn't happened. <laughs> I've kind of learned to live with it. <laughs> there is some room for the stuff he likes in here, but it's mostly Beatles. I would like to decorate the apartment with some of my sports stuff, but every time I go to put it up, I come home from work and it's gone. Sometimes they'll tell me that I need to start selling stuff. If it came down to parting with me or the music collection, she says that it would be me, but I would have to see it to believe it. When people I know in real life don't want to listen to my Beatles shenanigans, I usually get online. I started blogging in 2012. I just found this whole community of people who love the Beatles like I did. In about 2013, I began making videos to show the new Beatles merch that I bought. Hello everyone. I like to do unboxing videos where I'm opening things for the first time and just getting my full reaction to seeing them. I tried to make videos once a week. So we have this blue Abbey Road t-shirt. Very cute. It's got the track listing at the bottom. I've met some people who watch my videos. It's always awesome people like I don't even know. They're like, hey, I watch your videos. It's really cool. It has all their single covers on it. Uh, it's a Beatles clock. There's a lot of younger people that watch my videos and they think it's cool to see someone else younger into the Beatles as well. You can start collecting things anyway. You can start anywhere. It doesn't matter how old the merch is. It doesn't matter if it's from the 60s, just as long as it means something to you. I like to say that I'm passing the torch on for the younger Beatles fans because I want the Beatles to last forever. Do you really think I would part with you over the Beatles stuff? I would have to see it to believe it. I wouldn't. No way. <laughs>